What's up, YouTube? It's your boy John from Project Ellsworth. Today I'm here to show you guys this really, really awesome director's cut of the Ari Oster film, Midsommar. This was really cool. I saw that a few of the people in the horror community picked this up. Namely, Ben from Cadaver Club picked this up and was telling me how absolutely fantastic this was. And then I saw that Phil from Phil's Creepy Vids also picked this up and they both just couldn't say more about it. So I thought I would do a video showing you guys the book. That more or less is what this whole thing is. It's the, the Director's Cut DVD as well as a pretty significant book of all of the artwork that appears in Midsommar as well as I know that there's a write-up in the front of this book. Uh, I have looked it over. There's some pretty serious stuff inside of this uh, book that I will probably edit out. I have no choice but to edit it out. I just don't feel like feel right putting some of this on my channel. But be that as it may, I thought I would show this thing off. So the cover's really neat. It's almost like a, a, a canvas, like a material. Uh, there's the front of the book, Ari Aster film, A24, title, director's cut, and on the back of it, there's another image, and at the bottom, it says 978 equals 1 equals 7,339,920 equals 4 equals 6. I haven't the foggiest friggin' idea what in the world that's supposed to mean, but maybe I'll look it up. Maybe I will, maybe I won't, who knows. There is the spine of the book. A24, director's cut. Really, really cool. This is actually really nice. Those guys were absolutely right. This thing's awesome. So, there's the cover. This is actually just the slip cover. And it, the nicest slip cover I've ever seen for a DVD in my life. Awesome. And here is the actual cover to the DVD and book. Very, very cool. This is also like a, hard book, a hardback book and some sort of canvas on there. There is the book. Uh, this is also going to uh, contain spoilers, so be warned. There's a bear that you... Uh, that's basically an image of something that takes place at the end of the movie. One knock that I do have right off the bat is when I received this, the glue has come unglued on the spine of this book. I don't know if you can see that there. So I'm going to have to re-glue this thing. All right. And you know what? I'm going to do an overhead shot and just show you guys this book. So here it is. Yeah, there is definitely, here's the, the DVD. Once you take it out of there, just the same picture appears underneath. This is a very no frills DVD. The extended version or the director's cut, this runs about two hours and 50 minutes. And quite honestly, when you're watching this, it definitely does not feel like two hours and 50 minutes. Uh, the movie kept me interested from start to finish. Here's all the film credits. Uh, and I, I don't even know how I would describe this movie, to be totally honest with you. This is the second Ari Aster film that I saw. The first one was Hereditary, which was scarier than Midsommar, but it was definitely not as uncomfortable as Midsommar. This film... There's a couple very exciting pages here on 6 and 7. This film is very uncomfortable from start to finish. I don't know if you guys want to try and zoom in and read this stuff, but I'm certainly not going to read all of this. It's very uncomfortable from start to finish. It's uncomfortable from the beginning. It's uncomfortable in the middle. It's uncomfortable at the ending. There's almost like... Uh, I know that I read somewhere that there's like an auto audio thing going on like an undertone that makes you feel uncomfortable you can hear it if you pay attention and you know it's there you can hear it um and it works all right so i will tell you right up front that i am definitely going to edit a lot of this i believe i already said that but yeah that's definitely going to happen but this is the type of artwork that appears in the movie they go to like a uh, a community or a compound or I don't even know what it would call it, like a commune and the people there are unusual 
to say the least. Kind of on the surface, they seem normal, but then as the movie progresses along, you realize that the last thing in the world that these people are is normal. Uh, and they pull it off pretty well. There's some very brutal stuff in this movie too. The movie starts off with a girl's parents being murdered. It was like a double murder suicide. And right off the bat, you feel for this girl and you feel very uncomfortable and it doesn't let up. So yeah, these are pictures, especially this one, are going to have to be edited. So if you're looking for the unedited version of this, I'm sure you'll find it on YouTube. I just don't feel comfortable putting this stuff on display on Project Ellsworth. I just, it's not a road I want to go down. But uh, yeah, it's Midsommar is, it's like a, <laughs> I don't even know what to call it. It's like a, a sexual, wacky religious commune where they, you basically, they have you commit suicide when you reach, I believe it was 72 years of age, and they pick people out to mate with to, to, to keep the, the commune going. It's just, it's crazy. Now, every time I see an Ari Aster image, like with something glowing behind someone's head, it makes me think of uh, Hereditary. Um, I don't know if you've seen Hereditary. That movie's spectacular. I think I like Hereditary more than I liked Midsommar, but I loved Midsommar, so uh, I just like, I like the scarier element of uh, Hereditary. Yeah, this scene here is, uh, is a depiction of something that takes place in this movie, like I mentioned. They have 72-year-olds when you hit your 72nd birthday. I believe it was 72. Your second 72nd birthday, you are expected to go jump off a cliff. Very interesting. And they just do it. It's, it's nuts. And if you don't die, they finish you off. As if it wasn't spoiler enough, I'm not going to tell you what, that, what they do to finish you off. Yeah, this movie is uh, it's out there. After I was done watching this, like, I'm going to have to edit the hell out of this page. That's a whole lot of little images I'm going to have to put over stuff. Um, when, as soon as this was over, I was telling my wife that I love this movie, but I can definitely understand why somebody would not like this movie. I get it. I fully and completely understand. This movie is out there. It's definitely not for everybody. But there's some stuff in Hereditary that's like that as well. Hereditary is, it's harder to watch be, be, of the, with the fear element. This movie is more uncomfortable. My son actually tried to watch this movie with me. I've seen Hereditary, so I, or excuse me, Midsommar. So I was going to do my best to have him hide his eyes when the inappropriate parts came up. And he didn't get very far and he said he was uncomfortable. He got up and he left, which... To be totally honest with you, it's probably better for everybody. He don't need to watch this yet. I think this definitely falls into the category of movies that he should not see yet. But I was going to let him. Say what you will. This part here, this is a, this appears to be a man stuffed inside of a bear and it's on fire. I was saying that that appears later in the movie. All right, at the very end of the movie, here comes a spoiler. They literally stuff a guy, they, they make him so he can't move, demobilize. They, they immobilize him, and then they hollow out a live, well, he's not a live bear anymore, they hollow out a dead bear, stuff a guy who is alive and can't move inside of that bear, and set him on fire like a sacrifice. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> it's absolutely nuts. And there's other dudes in there who voluntarily are burned alive. Now see, this is all going to have to be edited, too. There's no way in the world that I can have this on my channel. I just can't. It's cartoons. It's not like real, actual nudity. But I just can't do it. I can't have it on here. Uh, it's, it's pretty nuts. These pictures are obviously much more mellow. I believe there's a couple in here, too, that I'm going to have to edit out. But the artwork is really neat. Some of it's like this stuff to me is absolutely beautiful. It's gorgeous artwork. I do not have this this parti uh, particular artistic bone in my body. I don't know that I even have the patience to do something like this. Uh, it's just it's gorgeous. The first part of this book, I would not go as far as saying it's gorgeous. I mean, obviously there's some artistic talent there, 
but gorgeous is not what I would call that. This is gorgeous. The other stuff is definitely interesting, and it definitely tells a story, and if you have seen Midsommar, you know what all that stuff is, or for the most part what it is at least. This stuff here is just artistic talent beyond any anything within my scope. Yeah, this is really, really cool stuff. There are several scenes in Mids, uh, Midsommar where there's artwork like all over the walls. Very, very cool. The movie is beautiful. I think it's a beautifully shot film and it's a very unsettling film, which is all the stuff that we like as horror fans. But like I said, I certainly understand why somebody would not want to watch this film again after they watched it or why somebody would stop watching this movie. I totally understand. I am not one of those people. I loved it. And I know a couple of other people uh, in the horror community who also loved it. But I also know of a couple people in the horror community who did not love it. All right. And there's the old burning alive bear. So, uh, so wholesome. So that's it. That is my showcase of the Midsommar Director's Cut uh, Collector's Edition DVD. Absolutely beautiful artwork in there. The case is fantastic. That's the nicest DVD case I think I've ever seen in my life. It's absolutely gorgeous. And I was warned by both Phil and Ben not to ever touch that thing with dirty hands, and now I understand why. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Obviously, I haven't begun to edit this thing yet, but I know that this thing is going to be an editing nightmare. Uh, there's going to be... Uh, you guys don't care about none of that. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not seen Midsommar, as a horror fan, I think you should watch it. I think you should give it a chance. It sort of falls in line with my feelings of like a film like Cannibal Holocaust or... I Spit on Your Grave, or a Serbian Film, or Martyrs. You may not like it, but I think you should kind of kind of feel like you should give it a shot just because. I don't know. You never know. Maybe you'll like it, maybe you won't like it. You know, some of us like things that others don't like. I thought Midsommar was friggin' spectacular, but I am smart enough to know it's not for everybody. But So, give it a shot. If you have seen Midsommar, leave me some comments down below and let me know how you felt about it. Let me also know how you think this stacks up against Hereditary. But that's another one. A lot of people out there absolutely despised Hereditary. I don't understand. Um, and if you haven't seen Midsommar, let me know why. I'm going to get out of here. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like this video and you've been enjoying my content up to this point, Please do me a huge personal favor. Click that subscribe button and ring that bell. Take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Have a kick-ass day. And thank you for watching. Later, folks.